Okay, I hate to say it, but it's that time of year to be thinking about bringing in your house plants before the frost gets them, but you need to pay some attention to them right now or they could die or get a real nightmare with the rest of your plants. Let's talk about it. Okay, so for many of us, we've spent the whole summer uh, putting lots of tropical plants out on your patios, your walkways. Maybe you had some big house plants that you routinely bring outside in the uh, summertime. Well, nights are cooling off. We're not there yet, it, not typically in most areas. We're only at the end of September uh, here in Rhode Island. So we're not near frost just yet. But now's the time to be thinking about it because some plants are really sensitive to the cold. So they want to be brought in sooner rather than later. The downfall is many plants Right now, the conditions outside are in favor of the plant. The plant is happiest outside. They're growing well. Uh, many house plants I found are actually kind of like rebounding a little bit again. But the problem is you're about to take the plants indoors. And now you're going to stress those plants out just from going indoors. And we're going to flip flop. When they're outdoors, the conditions are favorable to the plants and not favorable to the insects. But on the flip side, when you bring them inside, it turns things upside down. The plants tolerate being inside, but they're not very happy. And so, but the insects are just the opposite. They're not being rained on. There's no predators going after the insects. So it only takes one or two little bugs that you may not even know that are there to really become a real infestation. Um, this is a prime example. We had a customer give us um, a Hawaiian lei. Plant started flushing out, look beautiful. We get busy, it's off in a corner somewhere, and now this is typical of what somebody will bring in to me in say December or January because this is actually spider mites and it's spider mite damage and it's one of the things we're looking for. So when your plants look good and they're nice and healthy, this is the way they look when you bring them inside. And it is notorious that sometime in December or January that people just start coming in all at once and they start saying, I don't know what's wrong with my plant. It looked beautiful. Now all of a sudden I'm getting all this like speckling all over the leaves or uh, getting these little spots that look like little cotton swabs all over it. And next thing you know, my plant is declining. Really what it was, was you probably had a couple little mealybugs. This is spider mites. And you probably just had a few insects. But bringing them in in September, uh, in September and those plants start getting stressed, the insect now starts to breed. But one or two become four, then become eight, then there's 16. And the next thing you know, by the time you start hitting Christmas time and you start looking around at your plants, all of a sudden they could be decimated. So it is definitely worthwhile to do some preventative treatments on your plants now. Again, most of you know, I'm not a big chemical guy. I use it when I can use, uh, it really is uh, saying ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Spraying once or twice before you bring your plants in to get rid of one or two insects can avoid needing to use lots of chemicals later on. And um, really, now it's the middle of winter, you have to be applying chemicals uh, in, your, uh, in your house in the middle of winter to try to get rid of these insects, or you're gonna lose your crops. And those plants that you brought in that you might've been trying to save for next year, you now probably infested anything you didn't even bring outside. So if you had house plants indoors, you're now gonna expose them to the insects. So let's talk about what to do and how often to do it. Okay, so you kind of have to make a decision. If we're going to treat the plants now, it is better because they're outdoors. So you can put them off to the side, you can minimize the exposure of the chemicals to you, the fumes of bringing them inside, because when you start going indoors, now you have to use products that are specifically rated for houseplants, because you want to make sure that being in confined spaces where you're breathing in the air, that you want to use treatments that are safe for you and the, your pets and your family. Um, but right now when you're outdoors, um, a bare bones minimum insecticidal soap. It's an old faithful. It's minimal effectiveness as far as some of the tough insects, but basically it's a version of soap. You're soaking the plant down. The issue is most of the plants, when we go to spray, we're spraying them down from the top because they're down on a bench. You really need to get underneath, the, uh, underneath as much of the foliage and underneath as much of the leaves and canopy as possible. So you have a really dense plant or really thickly growth, you're not getting underneath it. So that's why I prefer something that has a little what we call systemic action on it. There's a number of them out there. And if your plants are outside and they're gonna be outside for a couple more weeks, then you can use anything 
um, like this is a neem extract and it'll say right on it that it's an insecticide and miticide in, on the label. And so we don't get a lot of diseases as far as fungus. Most of these that you'll see, whether it's neem, it is a natural product. There are synthetic versions of those. They'll typically say um, insecticide, miticide, and fungicide. It is very important that whatever treatment you're using says miticide. Mites, if you're not familiar with what a mite really is, not only can it decimate a plant, um, but it's a microscopic little insect that's on the back of it. There's probably thousands of them just on the back of this. Little. They're the size of a ballpoint pen. You have to really look closely to even see them. Usually we don't notice it until we see all this speckling across the leaves. And then when you look really close, you'll see like a, it looks like a spider web over the leaves. That is a different category. So when you see an insecticide on your label, it means it's going to go off a broad spectrum of insects. But mites are different categories. So whatever treatments you're using, use one that says insecticide and miticide. Neem is great. It's natural. Um, it's not as effective, in my opinion, as some of the synthetics, but it is better than um, using just an insecticidal soap. But once you get indoors, you are going to have to. So if you wait and you're watching this video in, say, January or December because you're having a problem and going through, first thing you do is take your plant, bring it over to your sink, hose it all down in the sink. What that's going to do is kind of flush some of the insects down underneath the, uh, right down your drain. But then you can use insecticidal soap or not leaf shine, um, a miticide but they have to be rated for house plants because they're gonna be for indoors. So if you think about your yard now and just gather your tropicals together, gather your house plants together now, you can go and use whatever treatments you have as long as it hits those criteria we just talked about. And you're gonna be thankful later on in December because you're gonna protect all the rest of your plants inside your house as well as those plants you're about to bring in. Hope that helps, thanks.